Hello and thank you so much for clicking this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can post on your Instagram. I'll be showing you how to post a photo, a video, how to post a story, how to post an Instagram reel and all the other tips and tricks you need to know to get started. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe so that you never miss a new video from us. So let's jump straight in and I'm going to show you the first way you can post to Instagram and we're going to be posting a regular photo to our Instagram page. Now the post button has been moved on Instagram. It used to be down there in the middle at the bottom, but that has now been replaced with our Instagram reels. So we're going to skip over that completely and we're going to our homepage, which is where I am at the moment. You can tell I'm on the homepage because the house icon on the bottom left hand side has been darkened. Up the top right hand side, you'll see the plus button up there next to our activities panel. We're going to press that and it's going to take me straight to my gallery. This is going to give me the opportunity to post a photo that I already have saved on my camera roll or I can take a live photo by pressing this camera button right here which will open up my back photo panel and let me take a photo of something that you are working on or something that you are looking on. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm gonna bring in a photo I already have saved. So I'm gonna press that cross button, press the plus button again, and let's post this photo of these palm trees together. Before I move on, have a look on the bottom panel here. It's giving me the option to either post a regular photo, which is what we're doing, post. The next one will be a story, which is an Instagram story, which will stay on your story page for 24 hours. You can post straight to an Instagram reel, or you can go live if you do this last option here. So that is where you find a couple of those options. But like I said, let's start nice and easy with posting a photo to our page. I'm going with post. These arrows here on the bottom left hand side let me choose whether I'd like the full aspect ratio of my Instagram post or if I'd like to keep it cropped in a square, which is what I'm going to do. Once I'm ready, I'm going to press next up the top. And here it's going to give me the option to add some sort of filter to it. You can scroll through these and see how they affect your individual photo. If you like the, the filter but don't want it 100%, just press it twice and choose what kind of percentage you'd like that filter to affect your image. Once you've chosen one you're happy with, you can either press the edit mode at the bottom and play around with some of these individual editing features that might give you that extra effect that you're looking for. You can sharpen here, you can add some highlights, change the color, add a little more warmth if you would like, a little less depending on what you would like personally. Or if you wanna skip this step altogether, just press next. Now here it gives me the opportunity to write a caption. This is what people will see below your post. So take some time to think about what you'd like here. I'm gonna write something really speedy just so that you get the idea. You can also put your hashtags in this area. Once you're happy with your caption, press OK. And if there was someone else here with you this day or you'd like to tag one of your friends, the next option down gives you that option to tag them in that photo. And then the third option here lets you geotag a location. So if you were in LA when you took this photo, you can go ahead and tag this in LA so that people can find your page that way. I'm gonna skip that step. Next, it will ask if you want to post this to another account that you're signed in as. If you would only like this posted to just your one account, only tick one account on the right hand side. When you're ready, press share and pop across to your profile page and you'll see this photo has been posted to your profile page. I want to show you how to add a story to your page. There are a couple of different ways to do this. You can either press your profile button right here and go into a story, which will look back through the back panel, or you can add a story using the plus button on the top right hand side and then selecting story. You'll see before I do, this also is where you can create a ton of other content here, such as a post, a story highlight, an Instagram TV video, a reel, or a guide. We have some more videos on our page about what each of these things are, so if you're a little lost, go ahead and look those ones up. I'm going to press story. 
Now to post a story, it can be a picture, it can be a video, or anything from your photo gallery. If I wanted to take a photo of something where I was right now, I can take a live picture. Alternatively, I can press and hold to create a video of my workspace or location at where I am, and that could be my story. But I'm going to bring in something that I have in my gallery just to show you how to do that. On the bottom left hand side, you'll see that if you press that button, you can bring in anything you like from your camera reel. Let's say I want to put this photo on my Instagram story. Once I've decorated it with all this stuff up the top, have a little look at those options. I can either press my story down on the bottom left hand side or send to and share to my story. Once you're done, you'll see you have a colorful ring around your profile icon here on the page. And that just means that you have a story on your page and that will be there for 24 hours before it will no longer show up for other people on your account. To post an Instagram reel to your page, all you have to do is press the plus icon from your profile page and select reel. Again, it will default by looking through my back camera so that I can choose to shoot something live in the moment, but I'm going to bring in something from my gallery and select a video and then press add. Once I'm finished, I hit the arrow button. You can add some text here, draw on this, add some stickers or GIFs or anything that you like. And then when I'm ready, I press share to and here is where I can write a caption for my Instagram reel. It will also give you the option about whether or not you would like this reel to show on your regular Instagram grid. You can make that decision right there. And when you're done, press share. You'll see that now on my profile page, I have my Instagram reel that I just posted here. You can tell it's a reel because of this icon on the bottom left hand side. But if I also press my profile button one more time, I now have an Instagram reels tab that will show my latest Instagram reel. If you're somewhere live and just want to take a photo or video wherever you are and post it straight to your Instagram, all you have to do is press the plus button and make sure you press that camera button right there and then you press and hold for a video, press next, write yourself a caption, and hit share. So as you can see, there are a ton of different ways to get content up on your Instagram page. It depends if you'd like to post a story, a post, a video, or a reel. Start by looking for this plus button right here, and selecting the kind of post you'd like to post and going from there. I hope this video was super helpful. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you'd like to see more of.